Hello everybody, this is my first in my series that's called The Wonderful Wizards of Access. I want to show you some great tools and access that really can help you be more productive and they're very easy to use. Now, in order to use the wizards and the things I'm, I'm going to show you in this series, you want to make sure that you do the full installation of Microsoft Access from the CD. So in other words, when you put the uh, Microsoft Office or the Microsoft Access CD in, instead of doing the standard installation, do the full installation, okay? And then a lot of these wizards will be there once you do that. Uh, the first wizard I want to show you is called the Lookup Wizard, and it allows you to make a lookup column out of any field. I'm going to go into this table that's called Client List, and you can see it's the standard information like first name, last name, and so on. Now, here I have a state. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be nice if I had a pull-down that would show the valid states there? Well, the way we can do that is by using the lookup wizard. And a lot of people would be used to seeing a pull-down for a state or something like that. So the lookup wizard can be very helpful. I'm going to close this window. Now, the first thing that you would do uh, if you're going to use the lookup wizard, you probably should make a table that will have your lookup values, and we'll call that the lookup table. You don't have to do that, but it sure makes it easier to maintain on the other end. So uh, let me make a, a quick table about my states here. Uh, I'll pick on create and we'll go with uh, table design. And the table is just going to be really small. Maybe I'll have a state field with a state abbreviation and then I'll have a full name field with the full name of the state. And that's also a text field. So a really small table. And of course, I could have more information if I wanted to. Uh, I'm going to close that window, and I'll just call it states. And I don't need a primary key on this table, so I'll say no here. Notice how I do have a table that's called states now, and I'm just going to put some data into there. So uh, type in PA. I, I'm choosing PA because I live in Pennsylvania. And I'm just going to put in some states that are uh, close to where I live. So I'll put in uh, NJ for New Jersey, of course. Uh, there, there's a state called Delaware that's really close to where I live. I'm pretty close to New York. And I'm pretty close to Maryland. And uh, the next state to the west would be Ohio. So these are actually are all the surrounding states around uh, Pennsylvania. All right, so, um, you know, now of course I can have a bigger list than that, but this will make the point that I'm trying to make. So I'm going to close that window and save the table. Uh, if I look at my states table, you can see that they're in there. Now let's use the look of wizard uh, to tie that table into the client list table. So in this case, I'm going to go into design view for the client list. And I'm going to go down to the state field. And what you do is you come over to the data type for that field. And then you click on the pull down. And here we do have one that's called the lookup wizard. When we click on that, the wizard will now, in, in my case, I have a security message on my computer. You may or may not get that. It'll be fine. This is a Microsoft product. It's not going to be a problem. So we can pick on open there. And now the lookup wizard will start, assuming that you have the full installation of Access. Uh, sometimes I've seen people run this and it'll ask them to install it right at that point. It says this wizard creates a lookup field which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want your lookup uh, field to get its values? We just made that table, so I'll say uh, I want the lookup field to get the values from the table. If you just have a few values, maybe you can use this bottom choice, but I usually make a table and we'll use that top choice. I'll pick on Next. Now, you want to pick the table that has the lookup values. Of course, in my case, it's the states table. I'll pick, a, oh, by the way, you can also use queries there as well. But I'll pick the, uh, the states table. Uh, now, this, this means which fields are going to display when you actually click on the pull down. So you can pick any fields that you wanted to there. I'll pick both fields. I'll pick on next. Now, this is asking you how you would like to sort that information. I'm going to sort it by, by the uh, full name of the state. 
Now, you could have more than one sort field if you want to. Obviously, you can have up to four uh, sort levels. And each one can be sorted independently, either ascending or descending. I'm going to pick on Next. Now, this controls how wide the columns are going to be when you click on the pull-down. Usually, what I'll do is uh, I'll adjust these columns just like you would in Excel. I'm going to go between these two columns and get the black cross. You can either drag the black cross, or a quicker way is to double click on it. If I double click on it, it makes it the perfect width for that field, as we can say. I'll do that for both fields. I'll pick on Next. And now, this is a, a kind of an important screen here. It says, when you pick one of those states, which actual field is going to display back on the other table. So, um, no, you can pick either one there. I'm going to pick the state field. So it'll just say PA instead of Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll pick on Next. And then it says, uh, what label would I like for my lookup field? I'm just going to call it state, and that'll be fine. Now, he, on the new version of um, Access, you can actually allow multiple values. That's a new choice for you as well. In this case, you don't need to do that. I'm going to pick on Finish. Now, it says, the table must be saved before relationships can be created. Do you want to save now? Yes, I do. And I'll show you what that does in just a second. So we use the lookup wizard right here in the, uh, the data type column. Now let's see what really happened with that. I'm going to right click on the client list and then go back to data sheet view. Now if I tab over to my state field, notice the state field now has a pull down and that's what we made with the lookup wizard and notice how they're sorted by the state. So now I can just pick one of those and that's the whole point of the lookup wizard. It really facilitates data entry. It's a great tool. So you should use the lookup wizard any time that you wanted to. Let me show you one more addition I would make to that. They can pick one from the list. Now, what if you wanted to make sure they had to pick one from the list? Let's say I typed in California. And notice how it still accepts that. Well, I want to make sure that they can only pick one from the list. So here's what I would do. Uh, I'll go back to design view for the table. And go back to the state field. Now, notice under your field properties, you have the general properties, and then because you made that a lookup, it has the lookup properties as well. Now, you can change these here, by the way. After the wizard is done, if you're going to maintain that, you can change things right here. But a really important property is down here. It says limit to list. I'm going to change that to a yes, and that means they have to pick one from the list. Let me show you uh, the result of that. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the table again, and then go back to data sheet view. And I do want to save the table, so we'll pick on Yes. Now, I want to tab over to the State field. Now, I'm going to type in, let's say, California again. And notice how this time it doesn't accept it. It says the text that you added is not an item on the list. And it won't let me, let me go further until I pick one that is on the list. Now, by the way, by the way, uh, when, we, um, when we do that limit to list feature, it's not going to go back and validate the ones that you already have in that table. It's only going to work for ones that you change or add from that point forward. All right, so that's the lookup wizard. Now, by the way, when you make a, a field a lookup here at the table level using the lookup wizard, it'll also be a lookup when you make a form out of that, uh, out of that table as well. So that's the uh, first wizard I wanted to show you, very powerful lookup wizard, which allows you to make a lookup column like that.